This is a state visit of very special significance. Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom, a member of the wartime generation, visiting France with what the French are describing as the highest and rarest honours. It's a personal tribute to her, yes, but it's more than that, for tomorrow is the anniversary of D-Day, and this is France, at its highest level, expressing its gratitude to Britain for coming to its rescue with its allies on the beaches of Normandy 70 years ago. At the Arc de Triomphe, President François Hollande of France, born nine years after the war ended, stood alongside a queen who, at the time of D-Day, was an 18-year-old princess serving in the military in the Auxiliary Territorial Service. They relit the eternal flame of remembrance. And then, together, they made the ceremonial ride down the long sweep of the Champs-Élysées, accompanied by the cavalry of France's Republican Guard. The Second World War hasn't always been the easiest of subjects for the French to deal with. There are sensitivities. There are sensitivities too, of course, in France's relationship with Britain. But the passage of years has made it easier to say things. And the underlying message of this visit is thank you. In Normandy tomorrow, Queen Elizabeth will be the most honoured of all the heads of state who will be there, as they remember the events of 70 years ago. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, Paris.